Is it morning? Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good early afternoon. Is early afternoon even a thing? I don't know. I don't know. How y'all doing? What's going on? Off today. That's why y'all didn't get no super, super, super early live. Turn it down. What's all going on? Me personally. Pardon me for talking with popcorn in my mouth. <clears throat> me personally, I'm going to um, get my little bit, little bit of Christmas shopping. Little bit. Little bit of Christmas shopping done. And I'm saying little bit because of this. And I had this conversation with somebody the other day. And I know y'all be like, dang, man, it always be having conversations with people. Anyway, look, I feel like Christmas has be has become so commercialized that it's no longer about anything that it's truly supposed to be about. Let me explain. I remember, well, shoot, I'm, I don't even really remember, but I know that Christmas is not supposed to be about what you get me and how much it costs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know people who are dropping four, five, six, seven hundred dollars on games or toys for children who will, in a week, put it down somewhere or break it or not even really want it anymore. And I'm talking about a couple of hundred dollars on some little bit of stuff or people who are, good morning, or people who are buying super super expensive cell phones for kids who aren't even using the functions of the cell phone like yes i mean i'm not gonna be a hypocrite i do have an expensive phone but i will say this the features of the phone is why i bought the phone you know what i'm saying like the things that the phone can do is why i originally bought the phone so yes the phone is right for me but to to you know just make christmas about things it's just it's horrible it's horrible and i refuse to subscribe to it i refuse i refuse to do it i'm sorry y'all call me a grinch y'all call me scrooge mcduck i don't even really care at this point i know good morning i know that whatever i get or gift to someone will be because i want them to have it or something like that it's not because oh it's christmas i gotta go put myself in debt to get somebody a flex gift no 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 look people we're in the middle of a pandemic first and foremost two we border borderline in the middle of a recession jobs are iffy am i am there is no need to put yourself in debt for a flex gift when y'all know that it's not something that you can afford anyway. Plus, I gift people things throughout the year to show them that I love them or care about them. I don't need a specific day to tell you, hey, I appreciate you. Hey, I love you. I don't need that. Who needs that? I do it throughout the year. I suggest you guys do the same because I ain't going in debt. You wanted to do a Kwanzaa this year and still do a reasonable Christmas to each his own whatever you do in your house that's what's up i'm just suggesting that with everything that's going on and the threat of uh, shutdowns every freaking day why put yourself in debt why max out your credit cards for materialistic things we don't even know if they're going to suggest matter of fact we don't even have the numbers from thanksgiving from where people did the whole gatherings and stuff like that so y'all getting ready to do that again for christmas it's unnecessary it's unnecessary look i love you today i loved you yesterday i loved you three months ago i don't need december 25th for you to understand that i love you and i care about you just me just my opinion i'm different i'm different and i'm okay with that i am fine with that so once again i'm going to do my need to be need to be christmas shopping um need to be and uh maybe even get me some stuff because i like stuff 
I like stuff. I mean, why not? Why not? Just me, though. Just me. And I apologize if every time y'all jump on, it sounds like I'm ranting. I am not one of those people. It's just I am super passionate about what I'm passionate about. And uh, I like to talk. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Courtney. So there's that. There's that. Um, yeah, that's it pretty much. What y'all got going on today? Might shoot a video today. Might do a skit today. It depends on what this shopping be like. Because people crazy and they be out here doing too much and I ain't got time. I don't have time for that. Get you something. You know what? I'm going to get you a hug. Let me get you a hug. Can you feel it? It's an air hug. <laughs> Can you feel it? I'm hugging tight now. Good morning. Good morning, people. Good morning. What is today? Wednesday? Thursday? Ah, I don't know. Since Thanksgiving, you know what? People work in retail. If you have never worked retail, I feel like every person should work retail at least one time in their life so they can understand during the holidays. So they can understand how nutty and how crazy people are. Um, I feel like my life has been turned upside down <laughs> since before Thanksgiving, during Thanksgiving, and after Thanksgiving. Um, I was going on seven, eight, nine days straight something like that, um, dealing with people and their attitudes. And it takes, it takes a toll. It takes a toll on you. Um, they want you, to, first of all, I'm not a contrary to popular belief. Um, people, people think I'm this jolly, happy person all the time. And I'm happy a lot of the time, but, um, I don't like a lot of nonsense and I don't like a lot of foolishness. Um, and I feel like, like regular people, you feed off of the energy that's given to you, okay? So if you come at me with a whole bunch of negative nastiness, then of course, of course, it's going to rub off on me. And I feel like that's pretty much what I've been going through. Um, it's the holidays. You think, you would think that people are uh, happier and better uh, with their lives. And they ain't. They ain't. <laughs> they ain't. I feel like they ball up all of that nasty ugliness and then they wait till they get out in public and just throw it at people they put it in a bag hey Tanya they put it in a bag and they throw it at people and people who work retail have to take it and I feel like most all retailers have taken on this uh, Burger King mentality which is um you can have it your way okay and y'all taking advantage of that not y'all not you specifically but um i feel like people take advantage of that and y'all be trying people y'all talk to people crazy you threaten to call corporate if you can't have your way and it be stupid stuff for instance if you bought this two years ago you don't want it fifty thousand times it's faded torn busted all up you can't even really tell what it was and you want to return it and get exactly what you paid for it in what life? In what life is that real? In what life is that okay? And then you catch your attitude because they don't want to let it happen. How? 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 I don't understand it. But, you know, I talk about <laughs> talk about retailism all the time, so I'm going to jump up off of that. Um a different person. Yes, it do. It takes a different person. It do. It do. Um, that's why uh, I appreciate my office with a door that I can lock because it ain't for everybody. And even with me, I ain't for everybody. I'm going to make me a shirt that say I ain't for everybody because I already know what it is. Um, Y'all, hey, look, y'all know I can talk. Y'all know I can talk a lot about nothing. So I'm going to jump up off of here before I start going off on a tangent and y'all don't tell me because <laughs> y'all don't tell me um hit me up you know i had started this whole ask me the mondays uh if you would like for me to talk about or us to discuss uh something that you may have possibly gone through um hit me up hit me up in my inbox about that not hit me up in my inbox for other stuff <laughs> 
um hit me up in my inbox and um y'all let me know all right so have a good day smile at somebody y'all be easy all right <laughs>